we are not uh, ready to fight uh, this terrorist. And we are, if uh, we are uh, uh, soft with the Pakistan, we look at uh, what happened in Baluchistan. They uh, kill uh, people. Uh, they uh, there is no uh, normal uh, dialogue in Baluchistan. The minority are minority. No, they cannot. Uh, they cannot do nothing. Uh, we, if we think of what happened at the uh, Pashuni uh, youth, uh, it's a lot of uh, example that in uh, uh, Pakistan is not uh, a really uh, a, a democracy. So I think that Europe um, have to uh, look at uh, all the money that to give to this country activities in Pakistan, uh, despite having so much of pressure from, uh, from the West uh, on Pakistan to sanction the uh, outfits, uh, they are still roaming freely. Because the pressure is hardly any pressure at all. I mean, this is only on paper, and the Pakistanis know that they can lobby themselves out of any place. You know, they have former American ambassadors who are lobbyists for Pakistan. So this is not how it works. If, you, if the West or European Union want to put pressure on Pakistan, they should come out fully and support the independence of Balochistan, and then Pakistan will act. Will the European Union put some sanctions as, as they have promised? I doubt it very much. The Pakistanis do their work so well. They are the most deceiving and corrupt level of governance you will find anywhere. They figured out the West, and the West doesn't even know where Pakistan is. So they keep this nonsense, and Pakistan keeps blackmailing. I mean, it's like a gangster on a Bombay street. It's, go, it's a very it's a growing concern. Uh, it's a growing concern, uh, of course, the support of terrorism, but also the, the trade, the GSP Plus uh, scheme was granted uh, due to some condition on human rights, on labor laws, and I think there are more and more experts visiting Pakistan who check the situation is not improving at all, despite all the speeches or maybe some law that there is no implementation. So there is a growing concern about the situation in Pakistan. Of course, we are very cautious because uh, we know the geopolitical situation, situation in Afghanistan, the question of, of migrants, but I think there is a growing concern.